this is Lisa from Tinged Blue and today I wanted to show you a way of how to find the center of a wall when sometimes it's really difficult to use a tape measure and find the exact center when all these fractions are involved. So this is the method I like to use is just by using some string. I'm using some blue yarn so you can see it better. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll just tape one end to the end of the wall with some painter's tape. And you want to make sure the string, the end of the string matches up to the end of the wall. Okay. And then you'll pull it along the width of the wall all the way to the very end, keeping it taut. And then you trim it so it matches up. And I just trimmed that. And I'll take the cut end and match it up to the other cut end here. See that? And we basically you're folding it in half. And you get to the very center of it. And I'm going to mark it with a Sharpie just because sometimes it's tricky to find that center again. I'm going to make a mark with a sharpie so it's got a nice dot on it. Okay, and then I'm going to, so that's the very center of the string, which is also the center of the wall, as far as horizontal. And now I'm going to re-line it up. Re-line it up. I was going to make that. Line it back up. String it back across. And this is where our center is. And I'm just making a mark on the wall with my fingernail. And then I can use a piece of chalk that I will mark the center. And you can do this vertically as well, where the two lines meet up, you will get a little cross and that is the dead center of your wall. Okay, so this is um, you're going to string it from the baseboard I taped the string or the yarn to the bottom the, or the top of the baseboard. I'm going to string it vertically on the wall all the way up to where the ceiling and the wall meet. So that's my end there. I'm going to cut that off. Okay. And then I fold this yarn in half. the ends together, find the yarn, and then take the end of the yarn up at the top where the ceiling and the wall meet, and then mark that center. And you get a little plus sign. Get this closer so you can see. And there's the dead center of the wall. And that's where we can center pretty much anything. But for this, we're going to use it for stenciling. Now we're going to take our level and at that mark that was made, I used, normally I would use chalk that blends into the wall but better. Um, and I wouldn't use yarn to find the center. I would use some sort of string that doesn't stretch like yarn does. But I want it to be able to show up on camera. So, you know, we work with it. Okay, let's get this thing level here. So once you get it level, you use your chalk. And you can continue that line all the way across your wall so that as you go with your stencil, Make sure that's level. Okay. As you can continue your stencil, it'll be easier to line up. And of course, you'll continue to use your level as you line up your stencil as well. So nobody wants it to be crooked. Okay, so you do that all the way horizontally, and then you can do it vertically as well. So you just go with the bubble on the top to do the vertical. Okay. And we'll continue that line. All the way. Okay. 
So now you have it marked to line up your stencil.